This is Rugby World Cup Berry! Yeah! As you get off the train here in Asakusa in Tokyo, um, there's this underground shopping street that apparently has been here since 1955 and it closely apparently still resembles the way Tokyo looked back then. You can buy all kinds of retro things here and have your palm read and your hair cut and grab a really cheap meal. I'm out and about exploring Tokyo because into the quarterfinal week we don't have weekday matches. Also we've had to say goodbye to some of our new favorite friends in the rugby universe and I decided that we should take a moment and reflect on the things we'll miss the most now that we've reached this stage. Konnichiwa. This is 12 things we will miss from the pool stages. Here we go! Mr. Semi Madoradora, a beautiful beer. He is unstoppable. One of the greatest players on the planet. Oh, that's a big bumpy run early from Radarandra. There's the boss man in charge since 2011. Mr. Milton Hay, Mr. Cool on the inside, hot on the outside. Uh, this side? We question Milton Haig's choice of show. <sighs> Apparently she knows some things about you from your hand. Uh, speaking about people who know things, uh, we snuck into the England camp and cornered Sam Underhill and placated him with our smiles and promises of coffee. Uh, to tell us more about his teammates. Here he is, dishing the dirt. Yeah, that'd be Mark Wilson, I think. I'm not, so, not sure it's too much time, but uh, yeah, he loves arms. Sharing a room with him is a nightmare, you know. It's 50 press-ups, 50 sit-ups before bed. Tom Curry would like to think it's him. Uh, I'm not sure who that would be. I'll go Mako. Punapola or Billy, actually, it's a close run thing. One of those two here. Mako seems grumpiest in the morning, but I don't think he is. I think he's normally pretty good, but I'd say he probably comes across as, he's, he's probably a, a late riser, you know? Johnny May or Owen Farrell? Owen would go from islands in the stream. Johnny goes for vanilla ice. I think that's his, yeah, I think that's his favorite rendition. I'm convinced Piers Francis's hair isn't actually real. It's sort of like a laminated sort of quiff. It never moves, so I, either he spends an awful lot of time on it or it's a hairpiece. Worst taste in music, Anthony Watson. Professes to be a connoisseur of hip-hop, but actually loves country and western. Joe, cock and a singer, probably sleeping, yeah. So Elliot Daly and Jamie George lead the charge on the, on the coffee snobbery, I think for sure. They're always sort of scouting out the, the locations of the nearest and dearest cafes. So. Most likely to get a flight upgrade, probably Marrow, I told you. He wouldn't ask for it, but he'd get it, I reckon. Oh, yeah, just... yeah, he just, that's, that's the way he rolls. <laughs> Jamie George, probably watch it with Elliot Daly. Yeah, those two are inseparable. It's cute, it's heartwarming, yeah. Possession and still they pour forward. Just scoops this ball up of the year one handed, doesn't break straight in from there. That's a wrap. Still they're creative. And you can't underestimate the work of Lafayette. Looking. Puts the kick through. He is electric. Plucks over the head, the warm hand, it pluck. They are left to keep seeing these winners. And he is absolutely extreme pace. They got it through Fukuoka! 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 It looks easy, he doesn't know what he's done there, but that full pace was great skills, great pace, brilliant. Irresistible! Indomitable! They are absolutely ecstatic. Some of the teams have started returning home. That's sad, but a really nice moment for Takir Gautier who met uh, Sonny Bill Williams and Alfa Tunga Fasi. 
They exchange shirts and apparently this is called a Dagestani papaka. Do you think I could wear it in the show? And to you we say, Spasibo, do svidaniya. Plain Scully, Captain America. I know I speak on behalf of the team. We want to thank you know, our friends and family. The Eagles have packed their bags. I mean, doesn't this take up a lot of space in a suitcase? Looks like an awkward thing to fly with. I'm going to miss the bagpipe so much. Also, such a good this is rugby moment. A message thanking the Japanese rugby players for handing over a samurai sword to the Scots after the game. So humbled to have been presented the sword by the Japan rugby boys. We've got a war on the pitch, but there's nothing but respect when the final whistle blows. And then Yu Tamura retweeted it and said, thanks for the game yesterday. Apologies for our little shuffle. Classy. Oh, the Japanese doggies. Look at this one. Hello. Yes. Arigato. Arigato. This dog even has a scrum cap. I cannot. I cannot. She even just laughed at me. But this dog does have a scrum cap. Moment of the day definitely has to be Tatsuma the Joyful. Victory Okay, no, he's not singing in English. Apparently, it's pretty big in Japan. Country road. Now that we don't have rugby on weekdays anymore, I think you need to entertain me. Hashtag RWC 2019. Rugby's got talent. Let's get it on. Konnichiwa. This is 12 things we will miss from the pool stages. Here we go. Canada and their majestic beers. So bushy, so rich, beautiful bearded men. So many great fans from all around the world, but we have special place in our hearts for the Argentine passion. Drive on the right side, yeah? <laughs> Don't forget to drive on the right side, too. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Look at that. French Alps are so beautiful. Ah, yeah, you're telling me. We will play rugby on the snow. <laughs> <laughs> That's not a bad backdrop for playing rugby. I can feel the desire to tackle mm -hmm. just draining. <laughs> Oh. Come on then, mate. Let's uh, give it a go, eh? Hey, good game. Go with that. I'll go with it. <laughs> See you in a bit. This guy looks him on. See how we puff it. Wait, wait, shot. Oh. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, good pass. <laughs> oh. oh. Hey. Ça fait longtemps qu'on n'a pas joué. And to do something like that, especially here with you guys, was awesome. So thanks very much. What an experience. And so if you are d'accord, j'ai une petite surprise. C'est un ami. C'est un ami que je n'ai pas vu. No, unfortunately, there's a, a rule apparently that if you haven't won it, you can't touch it. Même si on nous l'a volé, on n'a pas le droit de This is Ninja Bar. Welcome to Ninja Bar. Ah, most of them. Okay, let's have sake. Please try. Yeah. Ooh, that's really nice. If I make it out of Ninja's Bar, I'll be back with Rugby World Cup Daily tomorrow. So let us know what you're going to miss about the group stage of the tournament. If you have some ideas, weigh in in the comments. Can't wait to hear from you. Come by.